In this video, I'm going to show at-home spinal decompression stretches that can give instant relief for bulging discs and pinched nerves in the lower back. Hi everyone, Dr. Rowe here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. When it comes to the lumbar discs, those shock absorbers in the lower back, it's all about pressure. The discs are built to withstand a lot of compression or up and down forces throughout the day. However, just like a shock absorber on a car, it can be overwhelmed through hard impacts. Think a hard fall, accident, sports injury, or just gradually start to break down through repetitive wear and tear. Once the discs become damaged, they tend to bulge or herniate since they cannot contain normal compressive forces. The result of this is an outpouching disc or herniation that will make contact with a nearby spinal nerve. This is the classic cause of a pinched nerve. So to unpinch the nerve, we need to reduce the pressure in the disc or simply decompress the disc. You can imagine if there's a lot of downward force being put on the disc causing compression, it's going to pancake the disc and bulge it out. If we do the opposite by pulling on it, it's going to relieve the pressure within the disc and cause that bulging material to come back in, taking the bulge off that nerve. And we're going to do that through pulling or traction-based stretches. How these stretches work are by using your own body weight and gravity to aid in getting the traction needed in the lower back. You take the bulge off the nerve, it will start to heal and you will feel a lot less pain. The main thing that we're going to look for while doing these stretches is less frequent and intense symptoms, but more importantly, what is called centralization. Centralization is a fancy way of saying when you put pressure onto a nerve, it will cause it to travel, such as a sciatica pain, into the leg. When you take the pressure off the nerve, the pain starts to move back up to the starting point, which would be in the low back. Nerve pain heals by slowly moving back towards the starting point. So if you're feeling less pain and the pain isn't traveling as far, these stretches are working for you. So let's get started with them and get feeling better right now. So for the first stretch, you need to find two even surfaces. In this case, I just found two cabinets of level height, but you can substitute this by using chairs. So just put two sturdy chairs on the side right here that you're able to grab onto. So with this stretch, it's pretty straightforward. You're just gonna grab onto the two ends right here and stand up on your toes, just kind of right on your tippy toes, and then drop your weight and support yourself with your arms. Just let the weight drop as much as you can. You don't want to engage the core muscles, the low back, you want everything to relax. That way the pressure is being taken straight down. So again, tippy toes, and just let the weight drop. What this is doing is the gravity is pulling on the back, releasing that pressure within the disc and at that point, unpinching the nerves. So what I like to do with this is hold it for as long as you can. 15 to 30 seconds is a really good starting point. If you just feel like you can't support yourself, build into it to your comfort level and do it as much as you can. But you wanna do this a couple times throughout the day just to help decompress the back itself. So another variation of this stretch would be to sit in a sturdy chair with two arms and then go right to the edge of the chair, put your feet out and then just simply lift yourself up while putting the bottom weight on your heels. With this one, again, just let everything relax in the core, the low back, and just let gravity take the weight down to help open up the joint spaces in the back, relieving pressure off the spinal disc. So again, what I'm doing is I'm just lifting myself up like this, putting the weight on my heels, and just relaxing everything and letting gravity take it. Hold this one for 15 to 30 seconds if you're able to. Relax for a little bit in between and do it upwards to three to five times. You can do this stretch throughout the day as long as you're seeing relief with it. So this next stretch is very straightforward. You just need a level surface such as a mattress, couch, countertop, anything that's gonna be close to hip level. You're also going to want a pillow for comfort. So to start with, what we're going to do is put the pillow at the edge right here and then just lying on it with our upper body weight. Let the lower body weight just be taken down with gravity. Just kind of use your toes right here to stabilize yourself and let everything relax. Hold this position for about 15 to 30 seconds. If you feel like you're able to hold it for longer, you're more than welcome to, especially if you're feeling relief. But with this one, do it about three to five times with a little bit of a break in between. You can do these stretches throughout the day as long as you feel relief. If your pain is still lingering or getting worse, more sophisticated traction is going to be needed to get relief. 
look into spinal decompression therapy, which is one of the best conservative options available that can help treat herniated discs and pinched nerves. I use spinal decompression therapy in my office and have gotten great results with it, and I have helped a lot of people get long-lasting relief without the use of drugs, injections, or surgery. So I hope these stretches helped you out and you're already getting some relief. If they did, please show your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. We appreciate it and thanks for watching.